A quick peek into the locker room as the players get set for the game ahead. Looking to make a big splash here tonight. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Ali LaForce, our reporter. Ali, it's all yours. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Allie, for sure. Thank you. Hey, it's an exciting time of year with the playoffs on the horizon. Grant, should teams start changing up their rotations with the postseason in mind? You know, B.A., I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, seeding is so important in the postseason, but I don't think it's time to start experimenting. It's still about winning games and getting into the best position possible. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Torrey Craig out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Aiden in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Charlotte, at the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Kelly Oubre out there with Terry Rozier. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rozier, the pass to Oubre. From behind the arc. Rozier can't get it to go. And it's Phoenix's ball. And Booker puts up a deep three. Williams grabs the board. Here's Hayward. And Aiden pulls it down. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. Out to Oubre. Launches it. Charlotte again missing. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing it's early. Oh, yeah, nice man. shot by Booker. A reliable three-point three sniper. I like seeing Booker connect from downtown. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start the game with four straight misses. Look, look, that's about as rough as it gets. It'll get going soon. The Knocks it down from Eight distance. Six. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Pass to Craig. Over to the wing. Here's Durant. Yes. And it's Paul yeah, with the assist time. that time. Durant's got five points. Hornets, and what's working Paul. here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. All right, here's a tip for the defense in this one. Avoid sending Chris Paul to the line at all costs because he will punish you if you do. in the first a little over a minute and a half in well when it comes to free throw shooting Paul is one of the best in the league well in 2021 he was the best in the league hitting 93 percent of his shots he took from the strike you're simply better off letting him take the shot clean at last their cold streak is over they finally found something that worked <laughs> yeah the lid's now off guys maybe they can hold off a few more in a quick day basketball Here's Durant. Count it. Durant's got seven points. 
And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Rozier, the pass to Oubre. And here is Hayward. Back to Oubre. From deep. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Craig. And it's Corey Phoenix with Craig. another. You can't That's help but look problem. toward their defense. The <laughs> and they're totally lost. Here's Rozier. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. And what I love about Rozier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between, it doesn't matter. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul. Phoenix making some changes. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Craig. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. To the middle. A nice shot by Richards. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Here's Warren. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. And the Suns making a change here. Paul's checked in. DJ Warren at the line for one. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Here's Book Knight. Richards had a miss layup. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And that's that going to be a turnover. They call him for the eight seconds. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. And for the Hornets, they're shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. A nice shot by Richards. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Pass to Richards. Here's McGowan's. Soft touch off the glass. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Tries it from the top of the key. That's good from Durant. On the assist from Paul. Durant's got 11 points. That makes him 5 for 5 so far. Could be a big night in store. Three-pointer, book night. The Suns clear it. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Yeah, they weren't doing themselves any favors missing all those free throws. You could sense the frustration mounting as the game went on. Connects from downtown. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. To halt the run. Here's Richards. Pass to McGowan's. The three is up. He's off on that one. For three, Warren. And so it's the Phoenix Suns continuing to pile it on. Up 22 as we head to the break. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. 
All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Phoenix? At an annual ritual, players finding out their ratings at NBA 2K. All right, Richard, you were customarily happy with your rating, yes? I didn't really care, but a part of my condition of playing for 2K is they said that they will retroactively change my rating to 100. The first 100 player. You deserve it, man. Here's Maladon. Pass to Oubre. Rozier outside. Tipped away. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Rozier. That'll be Suns ball. They've got Terry Rozier. Kelly Oubre out there with Gordon Hayward. Then there's Maladon. And it's Williams in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Maladon from outside the arc. Rebounded by Payne. Phoenix has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. The campaign is the perfect example yeah, of how man. beneficial okay. the G League can be, Richard. Yeah, it gave him a chance to play real minutes, and it kept him sharpening his skill. Then he got to come back into the league better than ever. A true success story. Warren's shot is good. Warren's got five now. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. Even as a forward, Gordon Hayward can run the offense grab. Hey, B.A., he is a tremendous passer. Hayward's average over five assists a game during a season. Having Gordon in the front court really helps with ball movement. Aiden, he's checked in for Phoenix. Ball comes in for Payne. And what I appreciate about Gordon is he's a fighter. Working his way back from that devastating leg injury in 2017. Still a solid contributor. And it's the Hornets with the ball. Coming off a Suns make. Pass to Williams. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Williams has gotten a second bucket on the night. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. You're looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. And Charlotte's shooting just 35% from the floor. Rozier outside. Back to Maladon. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Maladon's got his first two points. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, down big. You got to find a way to generate easy offense. Getting into the paint is step one. And here is Hayward. Turned in an outstanding game against Detroit. Goes back up. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. A sometimes deceptive player. Gordon has an impressive feel for how to get the defense to overcommit. One thing you notice about these sons, RJ, many of them are considered strong two-way talents. And that is such a list for your team. Having guys that can get it done on both sides of the floor instead of trying to balance a lineup of just pure specialists. Landale's checked in for Phoenix. Baisley comes in for Warren. Now here's Oubre. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Detroit. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Here's Booker, and it's Devin Phoenix with another. Booker. Their offense is really humming right now, Darius. and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's foul number two for him. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. So for the Hornets, Richards comes in for Hayward. And it's Smith in for Maladon. Williams passes to Oubre. Now here's Smith. Smith Jr. Outside, Williams. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And he shows the focus there. Nails the team. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Some changes for Phoenix. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Landale. Craig comes in for Baisley. And it's Ross in for Booker. Ross for three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his fourth assist in this one.
As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Now here's Smith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hornets. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. Good on the bucket. Durant's got 18 points in the game. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Puts up a three, and that one's good. McGowan's. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Back to Durant. Another three for Phoenix. That guy is perfect from the field, making major contributions to this lead. Pass to McGowan's. Washington with the ball. An easy two on the layup. Washington's got four points now in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And here's Ayton. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. So impressed with that bucket by Ayton. Fantastic body control from the big man. And stolen by Paul. There's 31 seconds left in the second period. Gets the three to fall. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Paul with a steal. Pass to Durant. Let's it go from deep. Wow! Now 10 for 10 after that one. He's on fire. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. McGowan's no good. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. The three from Craig. Another three for Phoenix. Fantastic decision making. Aiden electing to move it for the high percentage look. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Suns. He's been lighting it up tonight. 24 points. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. KD, you're really getting up and down the floor out there. How much fun is it when the offense is flowing like that? Well, I think um, you know, this team is uh, very well-disciplined. and uh, They do all the details, and we just wanted to play harder, man. And I think we got some steals, got some fast break points. And we're playing together, everybody touching the ball. Uh, it's just fun when we play like that, so we got to continue to do that. Well, the discipline is paying off. Thanks, Kevin. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A tremendous start for Kevin Durant. He ended up with 24 points, three rebounds, and five assists. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into place. Fantastic shots. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. And Big Fella, your thoughts on the Hornets? I know it's not the case, but it seemed like they were lacking on the offensive game plan. Maybe some guys were improvising and they should have been making the next pass, but hey, not looking good out there. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother... After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college.